What's up tech is Josh here and let me say my curiosity got the best of me. I went ahead and ordered some Snapchat spectacles off of eBay. Granted I paid a little bit more than what you could pay for if you were by a Snapchat bot. But the area that I live in, I was not expecting about to drop by anytime soon. So this was the best way for me to get them. I was hoping to get them in before Christmas. As a matter of fact, it was supposed to arrive on Saturday before Christmas, but FedEx just didn't deliver on time. Regardless of the timing that they came in, I finally got them and I'm really excited to unbox this and give you guys my first impressions. I'll leave a link down below in the description. You can actually get these for a pretty decent price. I know you're gonna have to fork out just a little bit more cash just because of the scalping kind of thing that's going on, but they're not nearly as bad as what it used to be when they first came out. I mean, they were going for hundreds of dollars at first, but now you just spend a little bit more. I'll include that link down below in the description. Snapchat is one of the social media platforms that I've been trying to actually get more active on. As a matter of fact, I created a new profile and it's gonna be at Joshua Bain. That's where I'm gonna be posting all my Snapchat stories. Some of the aspects that got me interested in the Snapchat spectacles was if it was gonna be anything close to Google Glasses. I know it's gonna be a bit different because it's only for Snapchat, but the thing is is that you can actually download and import and export those video clips. I was also curious to see if they're gonna look goofy on me or not, and I'll get to that in just a second. But getting through the packaging, it's a really cool little tube here. Once you get it out, you're gonna notice that it's the case that's involved here. That's really cool. It's not just a case, but it also charges the Snapchat spectacles. Upon opening, you're gonna find the instructions and how to get it paired, along with the charging cable and a wiping cloth. The case itself is like a hard foam, so you know that you could actually transport this in a bag. And it's not gonna get beat up. And I really like that they did that, because if you want to charge this on the go, if you need to charge it at any point in time, you can carry this with you in a bag. You're not going to have to worry about it getting messed up. It's got plenty of padding to keep the Snapchat spectacles nice and protected. Taking a look at the Snapchat spectacles themselves, they actually look really good. I was surprised at the build quality. It's a nice pair of sunglasses that's got the spectacle kind of features as well. I was wondering if it's going to be cheap plastic and just not built well. But as a matter of fact, these are built really nice. In the perspective of wearing the glasses, you got a button on the left hand side, the top area. That button is what's going to activate the 10 second video clips. But you can actually tap it once for 20 seconds and tap it twice for 30 second clips. So it's really cool that you can extend that amount of time if you want to. On the inside of the spectacles, right by the button, it's going to be an LED light. That's going to let you know if you're recording or not. Once it gets down to two seconds left, you're going to see it blink. In that same area, you're going to notice the charging magnetic port. This simply just lays down into the case and it charges magnetically. It's really cool. On the outside, while you're recording, you're going to see an LED light on a circular pattern. That's going to let everybody know that you're recording. So it's not going to be too secretive if you're trying to be nice and discreet. To charge the spectacles, as I said, all you do is lay them down on that magnetic connection and then you have a magnetic cable kind of like the MagSafe that you see on MacBooks or at least the old ones now and on the outside of the case has an indicator of how much of a charge is left. Alright so that's pretty much the basic tour around the spectacles. Let's put these things on and see how they look on me. I was really curious to see if they're going to fit well and how they look on me. And I must say I'm not disappointed in the look at all. They pretty much look like the kind of sunglasses I would normally wear. You know kind of not all the way. Of course they got those yellow rings on the outside that kind of stand out a little bit and the shape of the lens frames are a little bit off too. They kind of remind me of the Snapchat ghost or just that style or logo that they kind of use. So I was relieved of how they looked. I think they look fine. I think I could feel comfortable wearing them in the public without feeling embarrassed or feeling too geeky or nerdy. I don't know. Uh, it was just a concern of mine if they were going to look kind of goofy at me or not, and I like how they look. It's actually super easy to use as well. All you got to do is tap that button and it starts to record. I think this is a really neat product and I'm looking forward to using it more. So my first impressions of this is that I'm relieved that they look good and I'm relieved that they actually are built really well. You're going to want to follow me on Snapchat at Joshua Bain so that way you can see all the snaps that I take. That's the account that I'm going to use now. I had a Bantech one, but I'm trying to simplify my life a little bit more. There's just too many social media accounts that I'm using, and so it's just time to kind of narrow it down a little bit more, and that's where I'm going to be posting all my snaps. Again, this was my unboxing and first impressions video. You're going to want to stay tuned for a full review about this. I'm going to use this a lot. I'm going to try to use it every day that I can or as much as I can. So that way I can give you a good perspective and also a good feel about what these Snapchat spectacles are like. They're only 130 bucks if you can find a bot. But if you can't find a bot, again, I'll leave a link down below in the description. 
you're not going to pay too much more. At this time, there's three different colors to choose from. You got black, coral, and also blue teal. Let me know in the comments what color you like the best. Thanks guys for watching this video. I do appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already so you don't miss any more videos like this, including my Snapchat Spectacles review coming out really soon. Also hit that notification bell so you know when that video drops. Please share this with your favorite social networks and until then, stay techie.